Welcome to Golden Aluminum, a Colorado institution born out of the Coors Brewing Company almost 30 years ago. Our mini mill is the most efficient and cost effective system in the industry. As you travel along with us through this specialized plant, take note of the many ways we save you time and money, even while recycling and making use of leftover materials. We've mastered the process in the following steps. We begin by breaking up baled used beverage containers, or UBCs, and send them through our uniquely designed shredding system. This system cuts the UBCs into pieces, which are just the right uniform size. The shredder's rotary knives are designed to expose the inner surface of the cans before entering our delacquering process. The delacquering furnace heats the shredded components to over 1,000 degrees to remove any residual moisture and any of the previous coatings that are present. We're careful to incinerate any leftover gases to prevent pollution. And the surplus heat is returned to the kiln because we don't believe in waste. This attention to material usage saves you money. While the shredded cans are still hot from delacquering, we feed them into a melting furnace where they are blended with pure aluminum and alloying agents depending on the customer's requirements. Alloying is what allows aluminum to be used in a wide variety of applications. Moving forward, the molten aluminum is now a searing 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, impurities have risen to the surface of the bath with the aid of the salt flux that was added during shredding. The impurities, or dross, are skimmed from the molten bath. The liquid aluminum then flows into cleaning units of the molten metal treatment facility where a special blend of gases are injected to extract any last excess impurities. The liquid aluminum now arrives at the most technologically advanced continuous caster in the world, the Launer block caster. Here, we use chilling blocks to maintain a consistent solidification rate as the product travels through the caster. This gives our aluminum uniform structure while achieving the most demanding applications of aluminum sheet, including rigid container sheet. The continuous slab then reaches our hot rolling mill at three quarter inch thickness. Exiting, it reduces the aluminum sheet to less than one eighth of an inch. We monitor the temperature and the surface quality on a constant basis. But we're not done yet. Next is the cold mill. Here, the aluminum sheet is finished in gauges anywhere from just under six thousandths of an inch up to thirty-two thousandths of an inch, with intolerances of plus or minus two ten thousandths of an inch. Progressing, the annealing furnace can prepare or finish the sheet for final required properties. After another round of quality control, it's on to the finishing process. Your aluminum will undergo between one and four additional steps depending on its final use. Tension leveling flattens and levels the sheet according to your exact needs. The aluminum is then water quenched and if required, a final coating of food grade wax is applied. If your product doesn't require coating, we can provide an e-clean process to super clean your coils removing any residual rolling oils. The aluminum sheet is then slit into any width you want from one inch to 28 and a half inches. You name it, our experienced and loyal employees can make it. Our operations run round the clock 24 seven. We have a complete on-site service that reduces downtime. We never stop producing your product, which allows us to deliver your order in record time, each time.